Hello and welcome to this Uni Taster On Demand event today. My name is John Cheek, I'm here from Uni Taster Days and it's my job to introduce the event and introduce our speaker. The subject we're going to be looking at today is urban studies and planning and I'm delighted to be joined by Dr Aidan Weil, a senior lecturer at the University of Sheffield. With these events we cover why you might be interested in studying the course, what to expect on it, application tips and careers and again the subject we're going to be looking at today is urban studies and planning. I hope you find the event really useful and with that I'll pass things over to Dr Aidan Weil joining us from the University of Sheffield. So why consider studying urban studies and planning and, and one of the reasons I'm pleased you're here is I, I think it's, uh, uh, urban planning, an urban planning degree, um, studying urban planning is, is, is a hidden, what I call a hidden gem in terms of university courses. Um, one of the issues we have is that people study quite a lot of planning at school, but it's not always called planning. Um, people might think that some of the things we do are, are architecture. You do quite a lot of planning, urban planning and geography, but it's not always called urban planning. So people who make the way to us have sort of found us often through um, teachers who have told them about an urban planning degree, good careers, advisors, or friends and family. Um, I think the profile of planning is um, is increasing um, and I think many more people know about us now than and, and perhaps have done historically. I didn't do an urban planning degree, I did English and art history as an undergraduate and came across planning almost by mistake. I, I, I sort of didn't know that it existed um, and I was really pleased when I found it because it, 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 it was a, about all the things that I was interested in, places, people, the environment, um, climate change, design, uh, I didn't know you could do that at university. So why consider studying urban studies and planning? I, I think it's interesting because it, it, it sits at the sort of interface of lots of disciplines. We cover bits of economics, bits of sociology, lots of what you do in geography, um, bits of engineering, actually, bits of design, bits of architecture. And it's about a synthesis of all those um, different elements. I think the other reason is that what we do is real and applied and, and we're an intellectual discipline. It's, it's an intellectual approach is really important to what we do in thinking about the development, the management, the protection, the regulation of places. It, it requires an interdisciplinary background, but what we do is real and applied. It's about finding solutions to issues in the world out there. It's about doing design work, coming up with uh, master plan solutions, um, and, and, and that informs a lot of what we do. So I think it is actually the, be the best bits of geography. I never liked doing the physical geography, but I like doing human geography. And what we're all about is human geography. Um, but as I say, with added elements, if you're interested in design, we've got that element there. You don't have to be experts in all any of these disciplines. We accept people from a wide range of topics. Um, and our goal in level is to bring everybody up to speed. You don't have to be an expert designer to do really good design work. And then finally, why consider study in urban studies and planning? There's a clear career route out of it. Uh, four year undergraduate degree is professionally accredited by the Royal Town Planning Institute and the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, employment careers pathway. And you'll find that in all urban studies and planning courses. The underpinning element of what we do is accreditation by the, the professional body of Royal Town Planning Institute. And in many universities, you'll find a dual accreditation with the real estate body, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. So what might you expect to see in an urban studies and planning course? Um, there's a lot of different inputs. Um, increasingly, our courses are around the major challenges that are out there in terms of understanding and intervening in the world today and in the future. You'll find quite a lot of work on climate change. We do quite a lot of uh, urban design work. We do lots of primary engagement with the world around us through study visits, um, field trips, um, th group work, thinking through how to respond to, to challenges. A lot of work with um, bringing experts in to help us think that through. So those elements, the design element, climate change, are really strong skills underpinning in geographical information systems, computer-based design that runs through everything we do. You'll find design projects, um, a dissertation, as you might expect in most other undergraduate courses. We don't do many formal exams here at, at the University of Sheffield. I think you'll find that planning is, is assessed through a whole range of coursework. We need to assess a range of skills. You'll find lots of group work and an emphasis on communication. So those are the things that you'd expect to see um, in an urban studies and planning course. Lots of variety, 
Um, lots of diversity in terms of how we teach, the things we look at, how we assess. So what are we looking for in an application? Um, we accept students with a wide range of backgrounds. Um, we've got members of staff in our department who are, are, are physicists, are engineers, are geographers, are economists. I'm, I've done literary studies, we've got other people who have done English. Um, and we're quite a, a sort of open uh, discipline to a wide range of experience. So what do I look for in an application? I'm looking for an interest in the world that uh, world around us. I think for me, planning is an interest in the world around us. It's an interest in how people live, how people work, how people move around, how we manage the environment, how the what the environment contributes, where that fits into our lives. And I think any evidence that you've got of engaging with those issues is, is absolutely fantastic and, and enthusiasm around that. And I think quite a lot of people, when they come to planning, find a home as I did, because we're, we're interested in the world around us. And that's that's what our degree is essentially about. So any, any aspect of interest in the world around you, any project-based uh, work that you've done, projects are enormously important to us. It doesn't matter whether it's actually in the field of planning, the ability to work on projects, to follow projects through is, is, is a great transferable skill for planning. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for that enthusiasm, that interest, um, and understanding the world around us, understanding development, what we like, what we don't like, and understanding how we might do things better in the future. So all around those sorts of issues. If you're interested in urban planning, contact the department, get a feel for what we do, come and talk to us, um, and you'll find that sort of response, I, I think, from uh, departments across urban planning. We like people who are interested in what we do. We like to engage in the topic. So those are the application tips. Going on to careers, one, as I said at the start, one of the real benefits of doing a degree in urban studies and planning is that there's clear employment and careers path at the end of it. It's a professionally accredited degree um, and there are lots of jobs out there in urban planning. Uh, our graduates do not find it difficult to get jobs. They're choosing between different options. What sort of careers are there out there? Most people tend to think of planning as being about jobs in the public sector in a local authority, determining planning application, applications, but there's lots of work around local planning, strategic planning, master planning in the public sector, national infrastructure, managing national infrastructure planning. So there's all that work in, in, in local authorities in the public sector, working for central government, working on transport, urban design issues, as well as core planning. But most of our graduates now going into the private sector, um, I think they like the dynamism of the private sector, the, the projects they get involved in. And they work uh, across the UK, but also increasingly internationally. And for me, planning is a global labour market. Skills are transferable, either working with a UK consultancy or finding a job overseas. Uh, lots of our graduates now find a way, if they're interested in working in different international contexts, either as the first job or subsequently in their careers. So lots of opportunities out there, public sector planning, private sector planning, planning related jobs. There isn't a professional qualification in the social sciences for the envir for environmental work. So our planning degrees is, is actually the, the way into environmental careers where people are going to transport, but, and as I say, transport urban design in a wide range of contexts, um, housing based work, um, research work, our graduates down to do PhDs. And then the other dimension that's really important is that our degree is just as valid as any other degree in terms of um, general careers that are out there. And um, for our graduates who don't want to be a planner at the end of the course, and, and that's rare um, because planning is, it encompasses so many things, um, they're well set up for, for the wide range of graduate jobs. And I think there are elements about our course that make, them, make our graduates particularly suitable for that. So planning students do a wide range of assessments. They used to write in reports and other um, forms of assessment for different audiences. Um, so communication skills are really important. We assess visual, um, verbal presentations. But we've got a really strong analytical elements to what we do, both in terms of commuter skills, but also in terms of analysing and understanding the world around us. And I think that makes a planning graduate 
um, a very good all-round graduate uh, in terms of the wide range of jobs uh, that are out there.